G'day guys. First up I'm going to drill these slats out using my Harry Hacurate methods. Harry Hacurate. So those holes you just saw me drill there, they're the joinery holes to join this front panel together. The leg goes, the leg is part of the side panel and the front panel is just this section here. These two, the side panel and the front panel get joined together using demon bolts through these holes here and into an insert nut in the leg there and that will pull it all together so it's it's a knockdown piece of furniture that I'm, what I'm building here as much as I'd like to build a solid piece of furniture it's it's going to be 1500 mil long 700 mil wide a meter high and bloody heavy so the size itself prevents it from going in, in and around people's houses and corridors and doorways throughout their houses so you got to build a knockdown you got you got to use some common sense and also, that actually gives me the opportunity to remove this front panel completely and put it in storage and use this as a toddler bed as the kid gets a little bit older, up till about five years old until they're just too big and they need a, a, a big kid's bed. So now I've got everything ready to go to assemble these front and back panels. All I need to do is sand and smooth and plane and scrape these, these slats and all of those panels. So that's what I'll do right now after I sharpen my hand plane.
So I've got the front upper and lower rails ready to go for tomorrow. I've got the dowels glued in there, they're sanded, they're good to go. The last thing that I'll do today is I just want to put a little bit of epoxy through some of these defects in these, the two side slats that are going to go into the back, back right and left hand corner. That's it for me today, I'm going to call it quits, I'll go and edit this video, get it uploaded this evening, and I don't know what I'll do about these two, hey, hey, hey. look at that. Quick before it puts a hole in it, and I'm going to have a big mess. Uh oh, uh oh. Alright then, see you tomorrow.